24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's when emergency medicine expert health experts are available at UF Health in Jacksonville. This weekend, the Trauma One team celebrates all the hands it takes to save a life in A Night for Heroes. For two local families, sudden, unexpected, and deadly emergencies almost took these simple things away from them and changed their lives forever. I just kind of knew that he was dying. I just cried all the time, all the time. <laughs> I still cry sometimes. <laughs> but they were tragedies prevented thanks to this simple looking machine and the special skills of the people at UF Health. A combination of years of planning, precise timing, and in some ways chance, but it literally saved the lives of Dr. Luis Rios, a UF Health physician, and Brandon Taylor, the first patient ever treated here using this device called ECMO. UF Health honors the survivors Saturday night in an event called A Night for Heroes. They raise money for life-saving equipment like ECMO, but they also focus on all the people involved in saving a single life. First responders and physicians, nurses and rehab specialists, and many, many others in the process. Years in the making, but just in time for Taylor, by the way. On his way to work on a foggy morning in Kingsland, Georgia, Brandon hit a log truck making a wide turn. He doesn't remember any of it. His wife, Brittany, does, though. She got the call and realized just how serious it was when she got to UF Health, where Brandon was being treated. July the 5th is the day that they came in and was like, look, like, he's not going to make it through the night. But he did make it because of ECMO, which had just been given the go-ahead to start accepting patients literally just a few days before Brandon Taylor needed it. It ultimately saved his life. Like, that was literally our last option. To know Brandon's alive today because of the therapies we offer at UF Health. Look at her smile. <laughs> It's, it's amazing to be a father for his two kids and a husband to his, his amazing wife. That, that's just a testament of the care that we provide here. So here's one of the incredible parts of the story. The ECMO uh, program also saved Luis Rios. I told you a little bit about him. He's the ER doctor at UF Health who just over a year ago had a, this massive infection that came on suddenly and almost took his life. His wife, Melanie, she's a critical care nurse, and she was starting to call family members to say, hey, come quick, he's dying. Well, instead, he has survived, and he is also an honoree tomorrow night at a Night for Heroes. This is an event oh. I get to <laughs> MC, and he, look at that. Yeah, the, the pictures like that yeah. are the things that uh, tell people, uh, okay, this is one life, in this case, two lives we're going to talk about tomorrow night. It's really but so many people have their hands in making sure those are successful stories, that people come back, mm -hmm. that they are able to live the rest of their lives, you know, with uh, wife, family, kids, all that. And it's interesting, the one that you showed, the, the physician, the yeah. doctor, you forget that they're there to help people, but they're human yeah. as well. So they are putting themselves out there to come in contact with all kinds of things in the hospital. Yeah. So, you know, the fact that they are cared for as well, it's, just, it's great to see. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool event, and uh, we'll tell you more about it tomorrow night, too.